Hello Anna, it's Monday, July 5th. And before I do anything else, I want to do a flashback to some footage I took a few weeks ago that I haven't been able to use yet. It, it was in response to one of your older videos, link right here, and, uh, well, I just had an issue with something that you said. I talk about one thing from your video where you talked about obtaining an abundance of Catherine's in your pants. You film your videos with an eyesight camera, which for people who don't know much about webcams means that the video comes out uh, showing everything in reverse, like a mirror, which is why the words are all backwards when Anna holds up a book to the camera. So instead of John Green, we see Najnirg. So Anna, because of that, I understand why you pronounce author John Green's first and last names backwards, because in your camera, the letters read backwards, backwards. This is backwards. But I really do not understand why reading from right to left also apparently means that you have to read from bottom to top. Why did you say his name was Nirgnaj and not Najnirg? You're just gonna have to explain that to me. Moving on! See what I did there? And now it's July 5th again. So, what I really wanted to talk about today is something that I find very exciting. Um, the other day I was thinking about my childhood book series that I would just love to read and I came to a very important conclusion. But before I can tell you what that conclusion is, I think I need to tell you a little bit about one specific Babysitter's Club character. Her name is Claudia and she is pictured right here on the cover of this book. Now Claudia is a Japanese American 8th grade girl who lives in Stony Brook, Connecticut, which is a made-up small town, and she is a member of the Babysitter's Club. I think the important things that we need to know about Claudia are the following. Number one, Claudia loves junk food, as illustrated in this quote. And I'm crazy about junk food. Doritos, Malamars, Ring Dings, you name it, and I'll eat it. You'd think I'd have a pretty bad complexion from all of those sweets, but by some miracle my skin is clear, which drives my friends crazy! Yeah, that would drive me crazy too, Claudia. Thank you. Fact number two. Claudia likes to hide things and things. That's why we hold the meetings in my room. I do the artwork for our club flyers and share my snacks, which are generally stashed out of sight under the bed or behind a box of art supplies since my parents don't approve of my junk food habit. Anna, the reason that I'm sharing these three facts about Claudia is that they illustrate one very important thing that came to me out of nowhere the other day when I was thinking about something that I know that we both definitely love. Anna, I am fairly positive now, after much deliberation, thought, and comparison, that Claudia Kishi grew up to be Lane Kim. Hi, I'm Lane. Let's go back over the facts. Claudia Kishi is Japanese American and technically Lane is Korean American, but you know, I think we can let that slide because, because let's face it, Hollywood doesn't really seem to know the difference between Koreans and Japanese people or they wouldn't have cast James Kaisen Lee, a Korean actor, to play Ando, a uh, Japanese character in Heroes. Furthermore, we see that both Claudia and Lane really like junk food. And, and while for Lane that comes out of a rebellion for the kind of food that her parents feed her, for Claudia it's just an obsession. But I think it's entirely possible that Claudia could grow up to be Lane, um, where Lane is in love with junk food because she was in love with junk food and also it's a rebellion thing because her parents have suddenly got magically stricter. I don't know. But I think the most compelling evidence that Claudia Kishi grew up to be Lane Kim is that Claudia hides things in her room. I don't think it was in this particular book, but I'm pretty sure that in at least one Babysitter's Club book that I have read somewhere in my past, Claudia had things like hollow books that she would hide Cheetos inside of. And we know that Lane Kim has been known to use hollow books to pass music to and from Rory Gilmore. So in conclusion, I think we have to agree that Claudia Kishi grew up to be Lane Kim. The timeline even fits a little bit. These books were written in the 90s and Lane Kim was a sophomore in high school in whatever year Gilmore Girls started. 2000. And since the Babysitter's Club were perpetually stuck in eighth grade for about eight years, I think it's entirely possible that Claudia Kishi could have grown up to be Lane Kim. Okay, yes, some of my evidence is a little shaky, but I'm willing to deal with that because this realization totally blew my mind. And I hope you're okay with enduring all this silliness, and I'll see you 
next time.